Outrocast. Thanks for doing this. So when did you actually film Sneakerella? We filmed, we started filming in September of 2020 and we wrapped of January 2021. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Not your first Disney related project. You have worked so much and also not your first or only series in 2022. Mm -hmm. But uh, how do you compare to the character that you portray in Sneakerella? Gosh, um, what I love about Kira, first of all, you know, number one is the gender role reversal. Like she's not your average princess. She's a princess charming. Um, and what I love so much, and I feel like I relate to so much with her is just that drive. You know, the fact she's incredibly motivated. Um, she's determined. She's not allowing, you know, her circumstances or what anybody says um, affect her or let, let them stop her from achieving her dream. And that's something that I feel I can absolutely relate to. I have that drive. I like to just, you know, say it's my astrological sign, say it's because I'm a Virgo. Or maybe it is because, you know, Kira and I do share a lot of the same characteristics, but that drive, that sense of drive definitely lives within both of us. I assume there wasn't a lot of prep needed to start to love sneakers. No, gosh, not at all. I'm a big sneakerhead and became an even bigger one after filming, which I didn't know was possible. All park. How many pairs of sneakers do you have in your possession? Literally way too many to count. Like I could not tell you only because I just love sneakers. That's just my excuse. I can't come up with a better one. Just love sneakers. Shoe, shoe endorsement or is that a future project? Let's, let's see. I'm putting it out in the universe. We'll see. Anything can happen. A personal highlight for you in making the show? I would definitely say um, the dance numbers, specifically A Dream is a Wish, being able to put together that that number and, you know, reimagine that classic song. It was just, it was magical, honestly. Um, we had a blast um, filming and even when it came to just rehearsing the, the dance numbers. And it's something, um, you know, when I, when I think back on my time during Sneakerella, it's like one of the best memories that comes to mind was just being in rehearsals with the rest of the cast and, and dancing for hours and hours, no matter how hard it was. It was incredibly fun and a true bonding experience. Well, speaking to your versatility as a triple threat, I'm calling you a triple threat. You're not. Um, is there a kind of role that you haven't been able to do yet that you're still hoping to be cast in? Yeah, there. I'm waiting, waiting for the day when they do an Aaliyah biopic. Um, and I would absolutely love to play Aaliyah. She is somebody that I admire. She's one of the main reasons why I even, you know, got started when it comes to singing and dancing. Um, number one inspiration. And I feel like whenever they decide to, to tell her story, it would just be an absolute honor to be able to play her. I heard an awesome, and I hope this is true, rumor about Aaliyah, that there was an unreleased duet that she recorded with the singer Beck. Did you ever hear of that rumor before? No, I haven't. I've heard that there's a lot of like really good unreleased music, but apparently Drake has it. So hopefully one day like Drake just is like, hey, decides to share it with the rest of the world. We'll be waiting. <laughs> And last question before I let you go, you just mentioned Aaliyah, obviously you're aware of Drake. Who are some of your favorite musical artists out there? Um, right now I would definitely say like Frank Ocean, SZA, Drake, um, Doja Cat is so good, Kehlani. Um, there's just so many good ones, but then also like tapping back into like what I grew up listening to, like Aaliyah, Lauren Hill, Erykah Badu, Sade, um, India Arias, gosh, is one of my favorite, favorite artists, um, Deborah Cox, uh, Faith Evans, like just so many good ones, too many, like, you know, to name all of them, but, you know, I, I love music and I'm really grateful that my parents, uh, they really put me on growing up. I, I feel like I have a great taste in music. Yeah. And hey, surviving a national tour of a Broadway show like The Lion King, obviously musical theater background as well. So looking forward to whatever is to come from you next. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of secret projects we don't know about thanks to Deadline.com embargoes, but best right. of luck with all of them. Thank you so much. Outro cast.